What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're back down here at the beautiful Blue Grotta Dive Resort and we were doing some deep diver training today. We've spent the last few days over at Jenny Springs doing some cavern and cave training over there. And of course, anytime that you're going deep or into an overhead environment, lots are a necessity. And typically in an overhead environment, you want some type of canister light where you're going to have enough runtime to make the dive you need to make. Now, one of the issues we get with canister lights is where do you mount them and how do you mount them? Most canister lights are going to have a screw on top, and that same screw on top is also going to have an umbilical cord to it. And if you have your canister light permanently mounted or hard mounted, it makes it difficult to get that top off with the umbilical. Usually you got to stretch that umbilical and stretch it out and twist it and it just makes it a pain in the butt to really change batteries out. So I'm going to show you a couple little tricks that I do for both side mount diving and back mount diving and just how easy it is for me to replace batteries, have my light nice and secured but also have it to where I can interchange it say from a side mount BCD straight over to a back mount BCD. So with that being said, let's get started. All right guys, so I wanna show you really quick how I mount my canister light. As you can see here, it's hidden underneath the wing of my side mount system here. If I lift up, you'll see there's the canister and it's actually mounted to the bottom plate of my rig. Now, when you get canister lights, a lot of times they will have some type of belt loop system on them to where you can either thread it on, say, to your webbing strap of your waist strap or in a side mount situation, obviously you'd put it on your uh, crotch strap. But one of the problems I have with that is it makes it very difficult to unscrew to get the batteries out. So as you can see, it's pretty easy here, but if this was on a webbing strap, I couldn't unscrew the bottom part, I'd have to unscrew the top of it. To do that, that means I've got to twist this wire and I'd, it's just a pain in the butt. So I like it to where I can just open and close it with ease without having to twist a wire. And so the way I've got it mounted is with a simple piece of bungee cord. I just cut me a length, let's say about 12 inches, tie a knot in one end, and I can utilize these little holes in the bottom plate to simply stick them through. So all I do is stick it through. That knot's gonna create a stop on it. I'm gonna go underneath the plate, stick it back up through, and now essentially I have two loops that I can mount the canister light in. Very simple, very quick, very secure. And you can of course tighten this up by simply moving the knot to where you need it. But the biggest benefit here is, is not only is it easy to remove and it's secure, it's also protected. So now my canister's not getting beat and banged up. Now another cool fact about this is the same system will also work on a standard back plate and wing. So typically with a canister light, you're always gonna put it on your right waist strap and that way you can put your long hose under it. But I still like to have mine up underneath the wing because I actually route mine up along the back just like I do in side mount. As you can see, it comes up around my back, comes out the top, and then it goes into my hand from there. So on a standard back plate and wing, you can do the same thing. On most back plates, you're gonna have these holes at the bottom. You can use those holes, of course, for a back pad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it for the canister light once again. I'm gonna stick it down through one side, bring it around, stick it back up through the other side, and now, of course, I have two loops. Now, on this particular one, I would have to move this knot to pull that loop down, because that right there is probably gonna be too much play for the diameter of this, but that's the cool thing about these bungees. You can cut them, make them shorter as you needed, and then when you go to mount it, you simply just put it into the bungees. It's gonna be nice and secure. It's gonna be well hidden and protected if you're going into an overhead environment. And then furthermore, it's very easy to get to if you need to change it or charge batteries. You simply just pull it out, open it up, charge your batteries, and you're not twisting your uh, cable or your umbilical there, and it makes it a very, very simple thing to do. So there you go guys, it's a very, very simple trick. Just takes a little bit of bungee cord. You can use whatever diameter you want. Just make sure it goes through the little holes in the bottom of your plate, whether you're using a uh, the lower plate on your side mount rig or you're using the back plate itself. Now I know a lot of guys are still gonna like it mounted on the right side. You can still do the same principle simply by taking your bungee and just running it up through the webbing strap and securing it in there. Think of a snorkel keeper, it's gonna kinda work in the same fashion. 
Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions or if you got a suggestion on how you can make this even easier, let me know because I like learning from you guys as well. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.